Tax is again looming as a key issue in next year's election. Well, let's get to MBR's political editor, Brent Edwards. So, Brent, is there going to be a debate over high tax versus low tax? Well, I mean, yeah, there will. I mean, and there is every election year, so I suppose it's not surprising. I mean, in the last week, it's been probably given a bit more focus with um, the Green Party putting out this idea of um, imposing a windfall tax or an excessive profits tax Um on the banks for the money that they've earned, you know, through the COVID period. Um, and that's, um, I guess, raised the criticism from the centre-right parties who just say, oh, it's all about more tax, more tax, more tax. So so you've got that debate always going on between centre-right parties and centre-left. Centre-left would tax more, centre-right would tax less. And in that debate too, though, you then have to look at, well, if, how much money would you raise and where would you spend it? So if you're going to tax less, will you spend less on public services? So there's all those sorts of issues um, involved and, and, and that'll come through again but I think there are more important principles as well that, that should be debated. Well, are the parties offering a different approach? Well, well yeah, I mean some parties are, I mean in, in the Opportunities Party um, for instance um, put out a tax policy a few weeks ago which was about having a tax free threshold I think of $15,000 but then also um, imposing a tax on the value of land so essentially under its policy it would cut taxes for those earning income through wages and salaries um, and meet much of the shortfall through um, taxing the the increase in land value. So that, that was a shift um, in tax policy. I mean, and those sorts of ideas have been raised before, um, particularly in, in tax working groups and, you know, we've had discussions around capital gains tax and those sorts of things, or, about, or comprehensive capital gains tax, but they've never gone anywhere. How could the tax debate be more constructive then? Well, you know, I think this, this sort of left-right split between high tax, low tax tends to distort the debate in the sense that um, whenever any new tax might be suggested, it's always seen as, um, you know, a tax more proposal. Um, and for instance, if you go back to the last tax working group um, that was chaired by former Labor Finance Minister Sir Michael Cullen, I mean, it had the proposal of a capital gains tax, which immediately got attacked about more tax, new tax, more taxes, etc. But in fact, the, that group also was suggesting that you could cut income taxes by introducing it. So it wasn't necessarily saying that you'd tax more, you would just change the way you taxed. Um, and it would be a good idea, I think, for if we could get an agreement around what the tax system should look like. And I mean, to me, I think it should be that all income should be taxed, however you earn it, whether you earn it by work or whether you earn it by renting out property or whether you earn it by making a capital gain and, and getting the money from the capital gain on whatever, that you know that income you know really probably should be taxed. Then the political parties can argue about, well, what rates of tax should apply? So how much tax in total should a government take from taxpayers who are, you know, who are paying these, these taxes? And that could be the political debate. And, of course, then that will be a debate around how much money you then spend on public services and how effectively you'd spend money on public services, where you would spend the money. And I think that would be much better than the sort of debates always get dragged down by that low-tax, high-tax argument. But it means that we've, we've never... I mean, those tax working groups, you know, of areas experts have come up with suggestions around how you could tax perhaps more fairly and efficiently, but they've always been distorted by the politics. Brent Edwards, thank you.